Hello! And welcome to our new Let's Play of Crusader Kings. Why is there a dragon in the background? Because um, it's China! That, that horse looks very European. Um, yeah, so this is going to be sort of an on and off Let's Play that we sort of play when we feel like it. We're going to try to have like an ongoing thing with it. Okay. Um... We don't know how this is gonna go. Yeah. This is this is a very very like bittersweet thing for a variety of reasons, which we may. We're not gonna release the earlier ones, right? I, I don't know. Um, which we may or may not get into. Um, we're getting kind of plastered right now to ease the pain of it. Also because we know from experience that this makes this game much much funnier. Yeah. Um. So we're just gonna gonna pick somebody. So background first. We played this game a long while back, completely unmodded. This one is fully modded, DLC'd. Yeah. Um, we turned off the fucking Aztec invasion. I haven't though. done that yet. We have to we, do okay. that. Okay. All right, we'll go through. I have not turned off the DLC because it might include stuff other than. Okay. So, you guys are going to get to see us turn off the DLC. Ooh, very exciting. So, should we do that? Um, well, first, before we do that, we have to pick a time period. Oh, we have to pick that first? Okay. Yeah. If, if, I, w if I was a really good Let's Player, and I actually had, like, people who cared and responded to things, um, I would have asked viewers to pick something, and... Maybe we'll do that later. So, early Middle Ages? Viking Age, High Middle Ages, Age of the Mongols, and Late Middle Ages. I mean, my instinct is to, because they, like, you can just play them, like, indefinitely, right? I mean, no, the game ends at a point. Okay, but does it, does the end point change based on what you pick? The end point is always the same historical date, the fall of Constantinople. Okay, well my instinct then is to pick early Middle Ages because then we can play the game for long. Okay. I mean, because we'll get to experience these other things, like, later, right? Yes. Okay. So and there's actually, yeah. So, these are recommended rulers. But again, I guess that changes who we can pick. But we can play custom game set up and pick anywhere on the map. Okay, who are these dudes? Like, I know who Charlemagne is, but who is this guy? Kalamon the f first? I wait, wait. That Charlemagne. It's another. It's similar to Charlemagne. Um, there, that's Charlemagne's brother. That's Middle Franca. Uh, so we don't want to play Charlemagne's brother. <laughs> that means we have to defeat Charlemagne to get anything. No. Yeah, so Charlemagne, king of West Franca, and the Kalamon, king of. Middle Franca. They basically have the same name in slightly different dialects. Uh, Derecidus of the Lombards. Awesome. Abdul Al Rashman the First. Ali Mansur. I think these are the two caliphs. Yeah, Umayyad and Abbasid. Krishna the First. He's in India? I'm guessing so. Rashtama Tukara. Is that... Is that that... Maybe it's like Persian or something, I don't know. No, I think that's Indian. I mean, Krishna, come on. That... I mean, that's an Indian name. But yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, like... We can do custom game setup. Yeah. Adapting history. Yeah. Uh, so I think there are different map modes we can look at. Uh, Rel map mode. That this one's much better. This is the one I'm most familiar with. Uh, religion map mode. We can see Catholic, Germanic, Slavic, Tengri. Orthodox. Oh, can we play Romania? Or is that... Uh, well, Romania is... Let's see. No, I... Is over here. 
Well, there's Bulgaria, but I don't so, know. So, Aravirya. Let's see. They're Khanate. So, this is when... I guess the area was controlled by, uh... Nomadic tribes? Uh, so that's probably not a good idea. I heard you can play them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use Arab. Bavaria? Bavaria? Bohemia, Saxony. I don't know, maybe we should be some, like, German principality. Uh, this is while they were... Oh, Slavic or Germanic. So they're still pagans. Yes. Filthy, filthy pagans. Oh, shut up. <laughs> this is not yet time to insert comments about Protestant advent calendars. <laughs> this is apparently a thing. This Nestorian? is a real thing that we found. That's a type of Christianity, I think. Nestorian. Yes, I think so. Bon. What is Bon? It's a uh, Vietnamese religion. Why is it in Tibet then? Or maybe it's Tibetan? I don't Taoist? Very tiny Taoist. The Western Protectorate. Okay, I guess that's like the westernmost part of China? Okay. We need to actually like make a decision about something. I heard people recommend playing um, an island miner as a good like starting one. Okay. Because you're surrounded by a lot of people with similar power to you. Okay, do we want to do that? I mean, that seems kind of boring, but, um... Well, what do you want to do? I don't know, I kind of wanted to do a dramatic thing, but... Okay. Full-on Viking or Germanic? I don't know. I can't zoom in. This is, this is too, I'm already not enthused by this. This is too overwhelming. <laughs> I kind of just want to go with one of the pre-mates, except they're all like shit choices. It's like... Well, except for Charlemagne. <laughs> but I mean, Charlemagne is boring. It's like Charlemagne, Charlemagne's brother. Guy who got his ass kicked by Charlemagne. <laughs> like... <laughs> what, his brother? I know, like the Lombard guy, like Charlemagne like battled the Lombards so it's like we could either be Charlemagne or we could be the people that Charlemagne is going to beat up like, <laughs> these do not seem like good options okay <laughs> yeah I feel like if we go Germanic it will be the same problem though that's true Charlemagne did beat up most of the Germanic tribe. maybe we should be Norse Sure, let's do that. So, we have a lot of choices. Too many choices. King Signar Ring? Let's do that. I don't care. Like, just pick something. Okay. Are those his brothers? No, those are his vassals. Okay. Random character. Okay, but now... Okay, yeah, here are the, uh... Let me see... Major epidemics? Sure. Mongol invasion historical? So Aztec invasion. invasion! No! So, why don't you want the, the Aztec invasion? Because random. it's not historical! Delayed random. No! Off! Aztec invasion will not occur. Jade Dragon, Chinese invasions. Chinese will launch both tributary wars and major invasions. Only characters within China's diplomatic range can use grace action. I'm guessing that's not us. I, 
I can't scroll. Oh, here we go. Monks and mystics, devil worshippers. Devil worshippers will factor their foul magic across the world. Well, good for them. You don't want to turn that off? No. Secret religious cults. Secret religious cults can be founded. Ooh, careful. Turkic conquerors. That's, this is all fine. Shattered retreat. Gender equality. Default. The various gender laws are enabled as per default. Specific cultures and religions may allow disallow gender laws. The conclaves. Yeah, yeah, this is all fine. Siege events, defensive packs. Supernatural events on? Uh, sure. Dynamic Jukdur Drift. Whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, if you don't understand it, ignore it. Sub-realms take a hundred years to integrate into a dick jure realm. What does dick jure mean? That sounds like a medieval term. De jure. No, it's French. It means, like, of the day. A hundred years sounds like a really fucking long time. Well, what does that mean? It means that if you have, like, lands that are made up of a bun of bunch of little realms, it will take a hundred years for them to all coalesce into one realm. That seems kind of obnoxious. Uh-huh. Culture conversion, nomadic stability, raiding. A character can read if the government, culture, and or religion of the character allows it. I'm guessing you can turn that off or make it so everyone can raid? Mm-hmm. Adventurers. Interfaith marriages restricted. Matrilineal marriages are allowed if the religion and government type so persist. Yeah, that's all fine. Charlemagne Custom Realms? Is this the... Charlemagne Story Events. Very story story events surrounding Charlemagne and his brother Kalaman will be enabled. <laughs> That's fine. You know, we didn't pick any of that, but... Vassal Republics. You're limited to a small proportion of republics among your vassals. Vassal theocracies. You are limited to a small proportion of theocracies among your vassals. I'm not sure why those should be restricted, but... You want to turn that up? Uh, maybe? Unrestricted. This setting disables achievements? Uh, okay. Well, maybe we should turn that off then. I mean, I don't really care about achievements, but I guess it's just... Yeah. Provincial revolts. We're sorry, guys, that this first video is just going to be us, like, setting up the game. Pagan reformation. Pagan religions can be refold when controlling enough holy sites. This sounds stupid, but whatever. Right, I think I read something about this. The pagan face can reform into organized religions. Oh, you mean like the shit that's actually happening in the real world. Yeah. Well, it's not an organized religion. There are people who are trying to make it one. Regencies. AI seduction? AI rulers with the seduction focus will attempt to seduce other characters? What? That sounds interesting. Let's leave that on. AI rulers with the intrigue focus will scheme and attempt to kidnap or murder other characters? 
Okay, this is all sounding like it's gonna be way more interesting like this. Default restrictions for dueling applies. Prisoners are released after having received their punishments. Almost drunk an entire cider just while you are. Like, well, I have drunk an entire cider. Just while you're deciding. I am superior. The, like downloadable content options. Okay. So yeah, guys, this is just a demonstration of how complicated this fucking game is. Oh shit. That's not good. What's not good? What's not good? There we go. That was distracting me. Oh, okay. Welcome to Crusader Kings 2. In Crusader Kings 2, you say succession of medieval rulers from a single dynasty. There is no set goal, but the world is filled with ambitious rivals. Secure more land to increase your power and protect your family. You cannot hold infinite amounts of land yourself. Yeah, I think this is stuff we already know. You are playing a Norse Germanic king. Norse culture effects. You can raid overseas with ships. Yeah! Rulers can raid infidel neighbors for loot. Why can't I raid Christians? To a Norse, Christians are infidels. If you say so. Our name is Kenny? Really? No, that's the name of the province. Okay. And I'm not sure if that's our province. No, I think that's our name. I think we're in like... No, no, this is us. Okay, so this is this is somebody else. This is the ruler of Kemi. Okay. Uh, tribes are settled but agrarian. Each country can only have one <laughs> tribal holding. Each count country? This is way too complicated. The more empty holding slots, the more powerful the tribal holding. Tribal rulers are limited to the elective gravel king succession law. Oh god, I remember I hate that. Which tends to fragment the realm between sons on the death of the chief. And then we have to go and kill all of our brothers every generation. In the early Middle Ages, the ancient Germanic belief system is still dominant in Scandinavia and northern Germany. A pantheon of gods makes the wise warrior god Odin, or Woden, rules all the branches of the world tree, Yidagrasil. The other two main gods are Thor, friend to mad guide, and Frey, god of fertility. Okay, so, so who are we then? We are Sifajod. Sifajod? No, but I mean, who was? We're already married. King Sigdur. Ring of Sifajod. Ring is our nickname, I guess? Yes. Who is like very, like, openly bald, which is kind of weird. We can go to the Baba. Well, this is a new thing. Now, now he, <laughs> now he looks equally weird in a different way. Can we take our wife to the barber? No. That's too bad. Can she we... is uh, cruel, ambitious, proud, and stubborn. She sounds like kind of a shit wife to me. We are quick, brave, Stubborn, charitable, and shy. And I think we son? know who is wearing the pants in this relationship, unfortunately. Us? No! But we're, like, very smart. 
Because we're not ambitious? Okay, we are already out of time. Like, sorry, Okay, guys. bye! Actual gameplay next time.